What up, ladies and jelly spoons? Abadad here, and today I'm bringing back a little bit of a blast from the past. Henry Stickman. I have never played any of the Henry Stickman games, but I hear they're really, really good. So, I thought I'd give him a little crack on the channel and see how we get on. Let's have a look. Breaking the Bank. Well, uh, <laughs> interesting selection because if I have, see the sneaky way of getting in surely is the teleporter, is it not? That, <laughs> that's not gone well, that has not gone well. How do we get out of there? Failed. Failed. <laughs> <laughs> it's emerging technology. I'm not sure it will get better. No, okay, <laughs> fair enough. Let's try again. Um, let's try a wrecking ball. <laughs> yeah, it's not the most subtle of ways to try and get into a bank, is it? Failed, alas. Okay, <laughs> next. Um, right, so we got... Caught with the wrecking ball. You're not going to shovel underneath a bank, are you? Let's go for some explosives. <laughs> That's not gone well. That has not gone well. Failed. Yes, I did. Handle with care. Maybe next time. Okay, so we've wa <laughs> we've, what we've done is ruled out the explosive, ruled out the teleport, ruled out the wrecking ball. Maybe force is not the way to go. But we're going to use the laser anyway. Yes! Yes! Ah! Oh. <laughs> Maybe not. I mean, it worked. It worked. To be fair, it worked. Okay, let's go for a disguise. <gasps> yes, a bag of money on the side of the road. That's got to work, hasn't it? Surely. Eh? How did we lose one? Good question. I think we should throw it in the back. Just to be safe. You ever wonder why there's a bank out here? Well, <laughs> like a it's supposed to be like more of a vault, you know? Oh, that makes sense. It does make sense. That does make sense. We're in! We did it! Genius. Now what? Three, go. Oh. Aha! We did it! That counts as it being a victory. However, there was one other thing we didn't use, which was the shovel. So let's see what happens if we use the shovel. Yes! Where are we going? We've hit something. What have we hit? Gas main. <laughs> oh no, don't hit the gas main. Yeah, that's not going well. I like of all the alarms that we set off, the only alarm we set off was a car alarm. Okay, episode one, escaping the prison. That's why we're in prison. Let's go. Oh, are you? You're free to go. Hey, yes. <laughs> oh. Not really. Oh. You've got a package. <gasps> That's exciting. Don't get your hopes up. We've already checked it for anything useful, haven't we, Dave? What? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> of course I checked it. I mean, if I didn't check it, I'd lose my job, and I don't lose my job. Correct, Dave. No, you don't. <laughs> See you around. Free to go. What do we got mm. in the box? A birthday cake. <laughs> That's a lot. <laughs> it's a lot to be hiding in a birthday cake. Whoever cooked it, well done you. Okay, so what have we got? The first things first, we need to try and get out of this cell. <sighs> we tried the forceful approach last time, it didn't work very well. I'm not sure what an, turn what an energy drink's gonna do for me. The teleporter didn't work for me last time. Let's go for the file, let's try and be sensible. Let's try and eke our way out. Oh, I've got a choice. Going for the window, going for the cell door. Well, there's police that way, or not police, prison officers that way. So we go for the window. Yes! Worked! Oh, okay. We were a long way up. Probably not 
the best solution. Let's go again. This time, this time, ah. we go for the file again, but this time we go for the door. Hmm? Yes, we're out. Oh, ah. I missed. That's not going well. That's not going well. Okay. You've got the reflexes of a statue. Yes, yes, I do. Let's try that again, but this time we're going to punch him in the face. Yes! Yes! Yeah, that, but that has the reflexes of a cat. I'm a genius. We're going to escape. More! We've gone into a cupboard. Good news. Now what? <gasps> Chair or belt of grenades? I mean, in for a penny. We're going for this now. Yo, check yourself. Have that. Uh, uh, that's... <laughs> That hasn't worked out as we planned, Henry. Ah, alas. Never mind. Again, we go for the chair this time. Chair's got to be the solution if we've already tried the grenades. Oh, we've got two options. Um, I don't know what I'm basing that on. That way. Now, all in favour of more donuts in the break room, say aye. 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 Nay. Shut up, janitor. You don't count. <laughs> now, the next one's on you. That's <laughs> yeah, that's okay. That's wrong then. Right, so try again. Chair. We're up. Right, we we went left last time. We go right this time. Yes. Yes. Now we're there. Oh, I thought that was me again then. Okay, so we're up. And there's a box. Ooh. Jetpack's got to be the way forward, isn't it? Jetpack. Let's go. Oh, uh. that, <laughs> that's not worked out as a planned, but we're still, oh. Now look, you're back. It takes many hours of jetpack training before you can, uh, before you're able to operate one. Well, it would have been useful to know that in advance. Okay, so let's go with the parachute then. And we can jump off with a parachute, a little bit of base jumping. Go! Pull the lever! Pull the, pull the string! Oh dear. <laughs> yeah, add the insult to injury. I think it was supposed to be a regular backpack. See what happens when you assume. Yes, yes, you absolutely shouldn't assume. That was entirely a rookie mistake by me. Okay, so what have we got left? We've got rope or plungers. Well, plungers seems like a ridiculous idea, but having said that, this is a ridiculous game. So let's go for the rope. Ow, ow, ow. Well, we're outside the prison. Uh, That's a star. Uh, Yay! Uh, <laughs> oh, the irony. Okay. <laughs> okay, so the only option we've got left are the plungers. Let's go. Oh, that's just stupid. Don't do that. Yes. Yes, Henry, you are a genius. Sneaky escapist! I feel there is more options. Hmm? Take him out! Yes! Uh, Tasered! Uh, oh yeah, I forgot to tell you, there's another car coming. <laughs> well, yeah. Okay. Right, okay, so. Back to the cell. We have tried the file. We've been both ways with the file, so now we've got the other options we need to choose. We used the teleporter before, so and we know that it didn't work. It's an emerging technology doesn't work. So we may as well just get that out of the way now, might we? Hmm. Oh! Ready? It does work! Fire! Uh oh. Uh <coughs> oh. You just can't seem to get the hang of that thing, can you? No. <laughs> Apparently not. And that's not the best place to have uh to have done that. So, okay, fine. So that's a teleporter. So what have we got left? We've got a drill, a rocket launcher, a cell phone, and an energy drink. Well, you know, the next one surely is a drill. That doesn't sound promising. <gasps> we're, not, we're not dead. We found things. There is an opacitator. A what? Opacitator. An opacitator or a crowbar. 
Uh, well, not knowing what the what the plan is here, I'm gonna go for a crowbar. It's the only thing I know where it is. We're going down. Yes, yes. Well, uh, run. Yes, run, run like a genius. Go, Henry. This way. Yes. We're not gonna get shot. No, 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 no. I'm gonna run like a genius. That way. Through the locked door. Up the wall. Yes. Flipped over like a genius. Yes. Come on, Henry. Get ready. Let's do this. What's the plan, Henry? Yes! Like the Matrix! Oh! Yeah, Henry. Look at them all shaking now. Like a badass! <laughs> We're out the door. Badass bust out. Yes, indeed. Take that. Okay, so this time we're going to use the oppositator because I don't know what that does. Never heard of one before. <gasps> you'll walk through walls. Just move the blue slider to the right and you'll become opaque. This means see through for all the uneducated folk uh, as you want. Not only that, but the more opaque you get, the easier it will be for you to pass through solid objects. Excellent news. Let's go. Oh, wait a minute. That's not gone well. Yep. <laughs> it was a good idea. The thi Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> You'd think something like that would come up in beta testing. You would. You would think it would come up in beta testing. But then I suppose there aren't many people left in the beta testing, so... Right, so what have we done here? So we've still got the cell phone, the rocket launcher, and the energy drink. Rocket launcher, come on, let's go. Yes, look at that. Yes. Oh, that doesn't look promising. Oh, in the eye, not pleasant. Way to aim, buddy. I mean, to be fair, that was an impressive shot. I couldn't do it again if I tried. Okay, what else we got? Cell phone and energy drink. Well, cell phone's the obvious answer, isn't it? Surely, if you're going to get a cell phone. September the 9th, 12.53pm, District Court, Court room number four. Witness, please continue your testimony. Okay. I was riding alongside my partner and the armored man, but suddenly he spotted a bag on the side of the road. We got out and eventually decided to throw the bag in with the others. We didn't know there was someone hiding in there. OBJECTION! So, the defendant crawled into that bag in order to break into the bank. Is that correct? Is it not obvious? Is it really that obvious? I have proof that the defendant didn't hide himself in that bag. Well then, Let's see what it. are you waiting for? Present this evidence Defend me! me. Uh, the disguise bag. The bag the defendant used to sneak into the bank. The knot is tied on the outside of the bag. Yes, that's it, that one. Take yeah, take that. that. Is, is that the bag the defendant hid in? Yes, but there's one thing that's been bothering me. If the defendant really was hiding in this bag, then... How did he tie the knot from the outside of the bag? What? If he was inside the bag, it'd be impossible for him exactly. to tie the knot on the outside. Exactly. But then, how did he do it? It's simple. He didn't. What are you saying? I'm saying my client wasn't hiding He's in that bag hiding at all. That bag. He was yes. stuffed in there. By this very Agreed! Witness. Yes! You! As you can see by this doctor's analysis, the defendant had taken quite the beating. While he was in the bag, he was unconscious. This is absurd. The witness was attempting to dispose of the body. He left the defendant in the bag, knowing he'd drive by it on the way back to yes. the bank. When the witness and his partner passed the bag, he convinced his partner to throw the bag yes. in with the others. This is money well spent. But, but why would he do that? Why, to dispose of the body, of course. There are millions of bags of money in that bank, and the witness knew it would take a long time before the victim was found. But unfortunately for the witness, his victim woke up and tried to escape from his tomb. He was arrested on the spot, and the witness thought everything was over. But it's come back to haunt him now. You guys can't, you can't, this, this, this can't be happening to me! We've got you. Got you banged her rights! Well, that certainly was an interesting trial. However, I am now ready to deliver my verdict. I find the defendant, Henry Stickman. Yes! 
Not guilty. Correct answer. Get me out of that jail cell. Let me go home. Lawyer up. So we have one other option then. The only thing we haven't done is the energy drink. Now what? What's happened here? Everything has slowed down. He's bright. Hey. Look at that. The... <laughs> yes. Get rid of him. Onwards. None of these people can keep up with you, Henry. Because that energy drink, there's something weird in that energy drink. We're out. Done. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I could see that. NRG side effects include nausea, headaches, rapid heart rate, and possibility to stroke and or heart attack. Well, you know, I wouldn't be putting it on the market, and I certainly wouldn't be spending my money on it. However... It's not a bad way to go when you think about how effective that was at getting me out of the si uh, out of jail. Ow. Always a good idea to watch where you're going, especially if you're running away from the cops. Agreed. Yes, agreed. That way. Ow. Not that way. Don't worry, I hear present dentists are great. Well, that's just as well. Because, uh, yeah, those, those sorts of pillars ain't going to be comfortable on the face. Well, there we go. Henry Stickman, episode one, in the bag. I quite enjoyed that game. I thought it was really good fun. Lovely little point and click kind of adventure. Not really much gaming involved, but I thought the stories were really interesting and all the little multi-directions you could take. So yeah, really, really enjoyed Henry Stickman. I hope you did too. If you did, please make sure to drop us a like. Also make sure to subscribe and I will see you soon.